All right, uh, the only problem I have is that uh, you have to put these together. Well, not you. You'd probably be fine. The problem I have is I have to put it together. Ugh. That's always um, a gamble. Cartec Yellowstone is coming along. Now, it comes with uh, other accessories as well. Uh, we got the bag, scorecard, I mean, it comes with this stuff. You can also get a seat if you would like. I don't typically use it, but I'm gonna put it on just so you can see how it looks and performs with the cool seat on. And uh, what you do is you attach this on and then you just set the seat in the holder here and it holds down and then the seat would push down and that would that part would rest on the ground but to get this attachment on you have to get to the bottom side of the cart like so and um, attach it on this end down here What's cool about the seat is it has some extra storage in there. So put more stuff in here. I don't know what you want there, but there you got four ball holders and whatever. Beautiful. All right, uh, batteries attached. Everything's good. One thing you want to note when you're using one of these type of buggies is that like your standard um, carry bag isn't really the best thing to use with these, all right? So obviously like that would be ridiculous, right? So you want a heavier, the heavier bag, the better off you're gonna be. Now this model is roughly 33 pounds, okay? so. And let me see. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's good weight. It's not heavy though. The good news is the weight of it's low to the ground, which is great. Initially, I do like the back wheel here that it's up a little higher. So I've got some play. It's not right against the ground, but this cart will bounce around like this. Something I noticed right out of the gate is these wheels, okay, they're plastic but they're really light and kind of flimsy. So I would be careful hitting curbs and rocks and things like that, like that could break. So um, I'd hate for you to have to replace wheels all the time. That's not good. So don't be aggressive banging that thing into curbs and stuff. Just be careful up and down um, the cart path curbs. Here's my staff, you know, vessel, full size bag. So. These are best on these types of carts, all right? Now, when I use these, I take off the strap because I just don't like it flapping, flapping around. Like most of them, we have these kind of bungee ball cords that strap on and this just goes around. All right, and it just, there's a little hook here. It just goes right on that. All right, I like that. It's pretty secure there. Same thing for the bottom. It's easier to put the bag on and then your seat. But there's plenty of room for your seat. Man, that looks good, huh? Doesn't it? It's just clean. I love the black on black on silver, black seat. I like that I can roll it pretty easily with the wheels in the, not the free flow mode, um, but in the remote mode, and I could still roll it pretty good. 
Got your power switch here. I think the only thing left for us to do is uh, take it on course and see how she performs now that we got her together. All right, not bad. You gotta be, you gotta be careful with your back, but you got a little hand, you can kind of grab right by the front wheel or here, and then the back axle is great. You know, like you, it is 30 pounds or so, but there you go. And be sure to stick around toward the end of the video because I'm going to tell you three things I don't like about the Kartec Yellowstone and three things I love about it. All right, so this has an adjustable uh, deal on the front wheel that allows you to fix, let's say, the alignment issue if it's swaying or swerving off to one side or the other. So I'm gonna need a flat fairway to really gauge whether or not it's uh, going straight or not. But down there you can make those little adjustments. Some things I'm looking for is the speed, how it accelerates and decelerates, how it turns. Is it too jerky or is it a smooth turn? The responsiveness of the remote to the cart. I want to know that, how loud it is when it's driving. So it also has a little reverse mode. In case you get in a pickle. I also wanna see how well my bag stays on here as it bounces around through the round. Do I have to adjust it? Cause that's a pain in the neck. I don't wanna have to adjust my bag. I want it to just stay there, no problem. As promised, let me give you the three things I don't like about the Kartec Yellowstone. First off is the clip that the remote sticks to right there on the handlebar. I like that it has a place to put it. However, as you bounce around, this is flying off, fell off like three or four times on me. So instead of using that clip, you need to throw it in the water bottle or drink holder. That's where I put it, okay? Just so you know, because it will get lost, you will drop it. The second thing uh, that's not my favorite, that I don't like, is this button here, okay? I love that it has a handlebar controller with a speed dial that is circular and not one, but one, two, three, four speed. You can control it, get it precise, I love that. However, this button, when you're using this with your left, with your hand, one-handed, and you wanna turn it off, you're gonna use your same finger, and that, it, it's a weird move. You gotta kinda curl your finger around and bang it like this, it's awkward. I would much rather have it right here in the center, just move the button there, so that I can do one speed control with my finger, the other on off start stop with my thumb. That's the second thing I don't like. And the third and final thing that I don't like about the Yellowstone or the Kartec is this. It's a little bit noisier than some of the other uh, remote carts out there. Now, it's not noisy, don't get me wrong, but it, it does give a little, little bit. So I like to walk, like if somebody's in a cart and they drive up and they park and they're gonna hit their shot, I like to keep walking. This could annoy some people. Now here are my three favorite features of the Kartec Yellowstone. 
So the things I really like, one, I love the handlebar controller. This is, I mean, that's fantastic. I, I have to have that one hand here, the other hand on my phone, in your drink, uh, for me with the camera, whatever. I love a handlebar controller as well as a remote. I like them both. Second up, I love all the options the remote control has for me. I can do presets in here, program stuff. It's not a jerky motion when it controls the unit. It just smooth glides and the turning. Some are really, uh, uh, uh. this is just a subtle, uh, subtle move. So much cleaner smoothing and operation than other models out there on the market. So I love, I love, love, love the, the remote and how it operates the unit. And the other thing I really love about this CarTech is just how clean it looks. There's just a, a sleekness to it that you just can't find very often out there. A lot of them are kind of clunky because they, they transform in such a way that it may be easier to transport, but on course, I just like it to look super clean, super dialed in, and uh, this has all of that. I love it. I will leave a link, as always, in the video description below. They're roughly around $1,000 at the time of shooting this video. They have other models as well, different uh, features and functions of each one that you may or may not like, but for the price, two thumbs up. It's like a 9.0 in the remote control cart uh, category, in my opinion. This thing is, is, especially with the price included, fantastic. So. There you go. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. See you in the next video.